Hello, 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 mic check, everyday superpower signing in. Yo, I'm gonna put you on some game today, alright? We're gonna talk relationships, dating, Tinder game. I mean, it might be Bumble game for you, it might be Hinge game. These are just, you know, available in England, so I don't know what dating service you use. I mean, this might as well be Instagram, Facebook, whatever you use to engage with women essentially and i mean what we're going to talk about today is going to work both ways but for the most part i'm putting putting game down for the fellas all right who want to get an edge who want to who want to learn a couple of things trust me so let's get into it this is a mad one you're not going to hear this elsewhere and if you do let me know in the comments right i got a twist let's say let's say because 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 tinder used to be what I used, yeah? So we'll reference that. But you're on your dating uh, app. You're making matches. You might be sending out a few initial messages. Getting a response or two. Or for someone who's potentially interested here and there, right? You engage maybe one response, two responses. Boom. Do you know what? If they show interest, I'm going to be brash. I'm going to be bold. I'm gonna say it's never that this is gonna this is gonna be heavy, right? It's never too early to ask if you can arrange a time for a phone call or throw asking to arrange a time for a phone call. Just arrange a time for a phone call, full stop, right? Yo, I'm available at this time. Can I ring you? Now that sounds mad, innit? Cause who's 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 making phone calls and all this and that? Bruh, no one's doing that. No one's doing that. Arrange a time. Put your neck on the line. Arrange a phone call, yeah? I mean, you could arrange a date. Prompt. But it takes a little bit more of a minute, you know what I mean? Just to ensure you're not some predatory character. But if you establish yourself and... You know, we'll, 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 we'll go into depth in regards to this. But if you've established through text... You know, and clarified via response and engagement that you're not some weirdo. Get them on the phone, right? No one else is doing that. And by default, because nobody else is doing that, you put yourself a step ahead if you manage to successfully sell that call. But, but it's awkward, it's awkward. Dude, if you can't speak on the phone, how are you going to speak to her in real life? So it creates a bond above and beyond the standard reading and sending of text messages. You can explore tonality, timbre of voice. How she speaks, you can engage, literally make her laugh, as opposed to seeing a lol on a screen. You can leave the social media and engage through personal phone numbers. It's a deeper game than what most people are willing to do, and it works. It works, it works, it works, it works, it works. So, yo, what's good, big head? What do you mean, big head? You got a big head, blah de blah de blah. Ah, shut up. Blah de blah de blah. I've seen that you're into this, you're into that. So am I, through some way or another. You know what I mean? We're creating familiarity. You are alike, me. We are alike. Alright, blah de blah de blah. Are you available for a call? Let me ring you. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not stating I'm going to ring you. I'm the boogeyman. Let me ring you, allow it. You know, I've made you laugh, I've made you smile, i made you interested, so from here on, let me give you a phone call, let me hear that beautiful voice. Come on, come on, I finished work at this time, how about I just give you a quick buzz? You got a moment for me, right? You give them a buzz. Honestly, they won't be hanging up for two minutes once they have answered that call, alright? And when you say... I'm going to ring you at half past seven, yeah? What you do is you ring at half seven on the dot, on the minute. Punctual. Magical. Precise. 
special attention to detail on the minute, yeah? No later, no earlier. This is game. This is game. You start talking, within a moment they're going to open up. First and foremost, if you've gotten to the position as to where you have got the individual on a phone call, that's all of the green lights you need. I swear to you. From there, you might be able to let yourself down a little bit if you're a bit awkward. You know, if you speak a little bit timidly, if you're a bit weird. But that's completely fine because you learn from your failures and if you have to slip up a couple of times, which you will do in the dating game, come on. But if they're willing to engage with you via a voice personally, because it's a personal thing, then you're winning. That means you're going to be able to hook up a date because you've established a connection above and beyond what any other boy what any other man is doing right now with their text game with their facebook game instagram game you are linked up you have her undivided attention for that particular moment and trust me unless you're the biggest weirdo of all time that phone call isn't going to be two three four minutes it could be 20 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes 50 minutes one hour two hours three hours four hours i swear to you now don't get me wrong this was game i was pulling in my early 20s so I'm not speaking on behalf of 30 year old women and so on and so forth but I assume it's gonna be the same you know what I mean just an older woman may have more commitments more boundaries set in place okay well I'm working and then I've got to deal with the kids and then I've got to deal with this that and the third it might be a bit different but generally speaking I don't think it's gonna be the case personally but I can only speak through my own personal experience that's why this game is so special yeah because it's tried and tested and then you're talking and what you can do yeah we talk about non-verbal communication on here we don't really go into the depths of the inflection of the voice through insinuation through what words can do as word is more powerful to the woman than it is to the man we appreciate the physicality the physical beauty whereas the woman likes the fantasy the imagination and when all she can hear is what you can provide with your voice with your mind to hers when you start to slow down and listen and when you start to fall into the base of your voice and when you start to you know say a few comments here and there and await a response and you get the response it's a beautiful thing and then before you reach any silliness you might allow it and leave it off so am i seeing you in person then and then when you meet them in person, do you think it's going to be half as awkward as to whether you just start a date and then they meet you and then they'll be like, ugh. This isn't, this isn't the person who was represented through the text messages I received. It's all so bland and it's all so samey. When she's there texting you, there's about 5, 10, 15, 20, 100 alerts, notifications going off, several different apps of fellas trying to do the same thing you're doing and why do you want to be the same as them? I'm telling you, you got to get on the phone call game and you got to get on the vocal game and you got to get on the fascination game, the mental stimulation game. Because then that's going to apply tenfold in your general interactions and relations with the fairer sex. It's a lot of fun. It's exciting. It's a roller coaster. And you're making a sale here. And when you get so many yeses, you establish momentum. It's very hard to get a no when you're building them yeses up. And if you get a yes as bold as yes, I want to answer this phone call and engage with this person on such a deep personal basis then you know you're, you're definitely you're definitely in there you're definitely in there and then you'll meet that person in person because it's going to be rare that you've gone to this step and you've engaged to this depth and you've held it on and had a good time together 
and you don't want to recreate that but with the physical presence you see and one may even approach that as the first date because in its own way you are uncovering and discovering each other's minds and I'm giving it the hard sell right now because I, I know I know this works I know this works and if it doesn't work for you then you found your weak spot because you were able to utilize your text game to the point where they have answered and communicated with you over the phone which you know isn't the easiest task a lot of people will hold it off yeah but you can keep pushing at it oh you're not available then how about then you know a week later you still all right for that phone call then you see where i'm coming from there's nothing wrong in that there's no shame in pursuing that which you think is right for you you know you're a man you take a no every once in a while you live and learn all right you know, it's sad when people say there's plenty more fish in the sea because I know some people don't have access to communities in a social life as to where that is the thing. But on Tinder and these dating apps, there are plenty more fish in the sea. People will come and go and you're not the worst person there, you know what I mean? I should hope you're not the biggest creep there on Tinder, so... You know what I mean? You'll come and go. She'll be too bothered by the next handsome man and on the other side of the spectrum, she'll be too bothered. By like the real fucking weirdo who's trying to say some daft stuff to her, yeah? So don't worry existing in that uh, central space. Just give it a go, put the hook out. If she accepts that, that's the like that's a very bold yes. And then going out on a date with you getting a couple of drinks with you really isn't that crazy of a development as opposed to just texting someone, reading somebody's words and letters that they have used their fingers to create after seeing a couple of photos of you and now you're gonna go and get drunk with them it's a bit weird right? so I'm an advocate of the phone call game yeah this is this is serious game and I swear to you I promise to you give this a go and you might not hook one one day, one week, two weeks yeah, but if you're half decent at what you do and you create engagement on these apps and these devices and stuff, then I would I would recommend you give this a go because it's exciting. Now, don't get me wrong, every man's different because nowadays I'm a bit older than I was. I don't really want to go around having hour-long phone calls with people, but a little 20-minute shindig, I'll make space for you because you're special, yeah? You make space for me because hopefully I'm special in your world too. So let's give this a go. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. See where I'm coming from. And if it doesn't work, I'll learn my lesson. I'll live, learn, progress, look inwards. What is it about me that's turned her off? Or what is it about her which just doesn't connect with me? That's okay. That's understandable. That's some game right there. I'm telling you. I'm telling you people, give it a go. And on that note, I'm signing out. Peace.